Hi again everyone, how you all doing? So this is an old Hornby Class 7 Britannia locomotive that was sent to me by David. Uh, he said he was given this back in 1976, just as he was uh, giving up on model railways. So it was uh, never really run and it got stuck in a loft and stayed there. Uh, we can see that this was bought from John Mingus for the princely sum of £14.25. Uh, and yes, that is how you pronounce that. It isn't Menzies. The Z is a substitute letter for an old uh, Scots character called a Yoch. Um, so it's Mingus, not Menzies. Uh, John Mingus was a very popular uh, sort of bookshop and newsagent chain that started in Edinburgh. Um, I think it's a logistics and transportation company or something these days. But uh, I have very fond memories of John Mingus shops back in the day. Uh, books, stationery, models, toys, records, newspapers. Uh, even I even remember video games in them in, in the early days of, of video games. Uh, so I'm guessing this is going to be in pretty good nick. So we shall open it up. I notice the uh, silver seal badge there. So I'm guessing this is going to have it's uh, the silver seal ring field or the Fleischmann motor. And there she is, and she is indeed in absolutely pristine condition. Very, very nice. Right, we'll get her out of the box and onto the track and see if there's any life in her. Okay, so let's turn on the power, see what happens. Absolutely nothing. Nope, not a sausage in either direction. So it's a non-runner. Right, okay, we'll get into the shed and off to the bench and see what's up. Right, oh, let's get a look at this. Um, yeah, at first glance I thought this was in absolute pristine condition. But actually, I think it has uh, met with a, a bit of an incident in its past. Um, the ladder on the back of the tender is a bit bashed. And also the uh, the drawbar is uh, a bit bent and it's got a bash on the end of it and the contact underneath is uh, not quite in the right position. So something has happened to this in the past, um, but otherwise it is in very, very good condition in its glorious uh, 1970s shiny plastic, which I actually don't mind. Um, you know, sometimes kind of gloss finish is, uh, looks a bit more like metal. Uh, right, okay, I think first thing I'm going to do is just check the movement on the, the locomotive. That seems absolutely fine. No uh, points of resistance. Yeah, there's something up at the front bogey, uh, pulling it backwards when the wheels is dragging. I think possibly one of the tyres is a bit out of position. Yeah, one of the tyres there is just a, a bit out of position. Um, other than that, it looks fine. It's just all very, very dry. Well, let's have a look at the tender. Um, just look underneath. It is the Fleischmann motor. Uh, again, it's all very, very dry. All these middle wheels are really locked. Uh, there's no movement in them at all. There's a wee bit of movement on those wheels, but nothing in the middle. Open that up. Mm, yeah, very dry. I don't like the position of that gear. Uh, oh, oh dear. Yeah, this has definitely had an incident. Um, the motor probably see this better once I get the weight off, but the uh, the motor's kind of bent. Dear oh dear. Okay. Uh, where's my screwdriver? Oh, that's in the layout room. We'll get this weight off. Um, there was me thinking this was going to be a, a straightforward service. You know, the thinking that the, the locomotive just hadn't been used for a while, but no, there's going to be more involved here. Uh, that off. So you can maybe see there how this is kind of bulged and this gear's at an angle. Um, there's a big scrape on the gear as well. So yeah, I think this has had 
some kind of episode has been dropped or whatever. His brushes out. Spares and replacements for these motors are hard to come by, so hopefully I can uh, put this right. That should now come off. Piece of plastic there. Where does that come from? Uh, it's one of the clips. Broken clip of the tender. Uh, the commutator is dirty, so this has been run. But uh, yeah, that's the problem. Right, we'll have to prise these wheels out. Gear. That will now come out. So it's more a case really, it's this part here that's got bent. I'm probably going to have to take the uh, suck clip off to, to fix it, annoyingly. Do it that way. Right, I can get that off and get that off. You can maybe see that the spindle is bent and this whole piece here is bent. Deary me, uh, how easy is this going to be to straighten? Get that bent back. There's that. Still not like position of that. That looks a bit better. So if that's on there, and that is fixed on there, is that engaging and turning? Yes, it is. I think that will be okay. Right. Okay, a monkey brush. I'm going to file this gear because it's uh, been chewed up during whatever catastrophic event this has been through. Just going to take this little soft washer off at the moment, and then we'll get the commutator cleaned up. We'll give it a scoosh. And get the old teacup on. Give it a squish. That's that sorted. Usually this is all black and dirty, but it's uh, pretty clean. Um, but while we're at it, we'll give it a wee squish and run a pipe cleaner through the these holes. Come on, get in. There you go. I still don't like this part here, it's still not quite the shape it should be. Right, put that little washer back on. And then we'll put this back. And I think we'll just put it back together and see how it runs. Don't want to screw that plate down uh, too tight. Um, Right, that's spinning nice and freely. We'll get some oil in the bearings. Silicon grease on these spindles. Put these gears back on. We fit the visor clip. I hate these things. There we go. Need a tiny wee squeeze just so they fit on reasonably tightly. It's a good idea to put a little bit of thread lock on these caps to stop the brushes pinging out. Let's try a bit of actual power. Yeah, it goes, that's fine. Put that back onto there. Wait on. 
put it down. Right, okay. Power on. There we go. Oh, come on. Yeah, I think it's an issue with the drawbar. Take this pony truck off. Little washer there, two little washers. Right, don't know how you can see, but it's you know it's had a bash, and it's a bit bent. So right, I think we'll try and bend it back first of all. It's always scary doing this because the risk of it snapping is pretty high, and then we need to get. Contact back where it should be. So this contact, you know, should be almost parallel with the drawbar, um, but it's been bent this way, um, and because it's riveted on, you know, I can't get any counter bend on it to straighten it up. Right, the only way I think I can get this to stay in position is to get some super glue in there, and clamp it like that for a bit. Okay, we'll take this front bogey off. And I think we'll get a look inside the local. Um, I think it'll just need a spot of oil, but you never know. Right, how does this come off? Okay, that will be holding on the cylinders. Um, I'm looking for a screw. No, oh, there's one right at the front. Right into the smoke box. Right, undo that. that lift off. Yep, there we go. Yo, oh, see that's loose. Luggage bits a little polystyrene. But yeah, it all looks fine. And um, so we'll get some uh oil in. Where's my oil? What we've done my oil. There it is. And get some oil into the axles. The axles oiled, and we might as well just put a few touches on the linkages. Yeah, this wheel here, tyre is just not where it should be. Right, I'm going to go and get a spot of lunch, and then we'll get it all back together. So I'm giving the glue on this a good while to cure, and that's uh, sitting a bit better now. So hopefully that'll connect to the tender fine. Um, so I think we're pretty much done, um, but I think I'm going to have a bash at fixing this ladder. At first I thought it was uh, just plastic and the chances of reshaping it back were going to be pretty slim without breaking it, but uh, no I think it actually is metal. Let's see what happens if I just give that a wee lever there like that. Yeah that's straightened up a bit. That's this bit here that's got pretty mangled. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's a wee bit better looking. Right, okay. We'll pop this on. Like so. And then we'll get this back together. One of the little lugs on the chassis there is broken off as well. Um, it's actually still in there. I got in touch with David and, uh, you know, said to him, look, it looks like this thing was dropped, but he doesn't remember it ever being dropped. They said it's entirely possible his dad dropped it. Um, but it's definitely had um, a big drop, I think. Um, you know, the things that are, are damaged don't get damaged on their own. So it's clearly had an impact. Uh, right, okay. That's that. We'll get the we screw in the front. So I was just going to test this on the test track, but uh, looking at this pony truck again, um, it's really loose. There's two contact washers um, that are there to, to try and improve contact between the chassis and the pony truck and the drawbar, 
but uh, there's so much play in there that's going to be a very intermittent uh, connection uh, yeah I don't like that at all um, I think what I'm going to try instead of having the two washers there I'm going to have one either side of the, the pony truck um, I think that will tighten up the join and ensure a better contact I'll give that a go but there's no way that that's going to work very well as it is just now you'd be better off having a wire connect connecting the, the tender to the, the locomotive permanently so we've got two contact washers there so let's take one leave that one there And then this one, we'll put in there, like that. And then, when we tighten that up, I think that'll be better. I need to check the server sheet, see if maybe it's meant to be that way. The screw then comes into contact with the contact washer, and the screw is then screwed into the chassis. That's better. Right, okay, let's see if this goes. Yeah, all right, okay, okay. We'll go and pull this out the shed and see how it goes around the layout. Okay, then, let's bring Britannia out. So there we are, that's this Hornby Britannia running again. Um, yeah, the issue there was that this appears to have had a nasty fall at some point and the, the impact had actually bent the motor casing. Um, that caused the, the gears to be out of alignment and lock up. Um, so straightening out the casing sorted that out, but it wouldn't have taken much for that to have uh, been terminal and uh, this would have needed a, a replacement motor. Uh, the drawbar was badly bent as well and the contact on it out of position 
But that's straightened out, as is the ladder on the back of the tender. Um, you know, according to the service sheet, there's only one contact washer on the rear pony truck, whereas this actually had two. Um, I put one underneath the pony truck where the screw goes through, and that uh, improved the, the connection there. Um, it looks like it's been very lucky not to have had more serious damage done to the body of the, the tender and the locomotive. Uh, from whatever fateful event this went through, but uh, it's running again now and uh, hopefully it will do so for a good few years to come, so long as it doesn't get any more impacts. Right, okay, I shall get this packed up and sent back to David and I'll catch you later, folks.